S7200 micro PLCs. The S7200 micro PLC is the smallest member of the Somatic S7 family of programmable controllers. The central processing unit, CPU, is internal to the PLC. Inputs and outputs, I.O., are the system control points. Inputs monitor field devices, such as switches and sensors. Outputs control other devices, such as motors and pumps. The programming port is the connection to the programming device. S7200 Models There are four S7200 CPU types, S7221, S7222, S7224, S7226, and S7226XM and 3 power supply for each type. The model description indicates the type of CPU, the power supply, the type of input, and the type of output. S7200 Features The S7200 family includes a wide variety of CPUs and features. This variety provides a range of features to aid in designing a cost-effective automation solution. The following table provides a summary of the major features, many of which will be covered in this course. Mode Switch and Analog Adjustment when the mode switch is in the run position the CPU is in the run mode and executing the program. When the mode switch is in the stop position the CPU is stopped. When the mode switch is in the term position the programming device can select the operating mode. The analog adjustment is used to increase or decrease values stored in special memory. These values can be used to update the value of a timer or counter, or can be used to set limits. Optional Cartridge The S7200 supports an optional memory cartridge that provides a portable EEPROM storage for your program. The cartridge can be used to copy a program from one S7200 PLC to a like S7200 PLC. In addition, two other cartridges are available. A real-time clock with battery is available for use on the S7221 and S7222. The battery provides up to 200 days of data retention time in the event of a power loss. The S7224 and S7226 have a real-time clock built in. Another cartridge is available with a battery only. Expansion Modules The S7200 PLCs are expandable. Expansion modules contain additional inputs and outputs. These are connected to the base unit using a ribbon connector. The ribbon connector is protected by a cover on the base unit. Side-by-side -side mounting completely encloses and protects the ribbon connector. Available Expansion The S7221 comes with 6 digital inputs and 4 digital outputs. These are not expandable. The S7222 comes with 8 digital inputs and 6 digital outputs. The 222 will accept up to two expansion modules. The S7224 comes with 14 digital inputs and 10 digital outputs. The 224 will accept up to seven expansion modules. The S7226 and S7226XM come with 24 digital inputs and 16 digital outputs. The 226 and 226XM will accept up to 7 expansion modules. Status Indicators The CPU status indicators reflect the current mode of CPU operation. If, for example, 
the mode switch is set to the run position, the green run indicator is lit. When the mode switch is set to the stop position, the yellow stop indicator is lit. The I.O. status indicators represent the on or off status of corresponding inputs and outputs. When the CPU senses an input is on, the corresponding green indicator is lit. Installing The S7200 can be installed in one of two ways. A DIN clip allows installation on a standard DIN rail. The DIN clip snaps open to allow installation and snaps close to secure the unit on the rail. The S7200 can also be panel mounted using installation holes located behind the access covers. External Power Supply Sources An S7200 can be connected to either a 24 VDC or a 120 or 230 VAC power supply depending on the CPU. An S7200 DC-DC-DC would be connected to a 24 VDC power supply. An S7200 AC-DC-Relay would be connected to a 120 or 230 VAC power supply. I.O. Numbering S7200 inputs and outputs are labeled at the wiring terminations and next to the status indicators. These alphanumeric symbols identify the I.O. address to which a device is connected. This address is used by the CPU to determine which input is present and which output needs to be turned on or off. I designates a discrete input and Q designates a discrete output. The first number identifies the byte, the second number identifies the bit. Input I 0.0, .0 for example, is byte 0, bit 0. The following table identifies the input and output designations. Inputs Input devices, such as switches, push buttons, and other sensor devices are connected to the terminal strip under the bottom cover of the PLC. Input Simulator A convenient method of testing a program is to wire toggle switches to the inputs. Input simulators with pre-wired toggle switches are available for the S7200s. Switches are wired between the 24 VDC power supply, L+, and the inputs. For example, the switch on the far left is wired between the first input, 0.0, .0 and L+. When the switch is closed, 24 VDC is applied to the input. This is referred to as a logic one. When the switch is open, 0 VDC is applied to the input. This is referred to as a logic zero. Outputs Output devices, such as relays, are connected to the terminal strip under the top cover of the PLC. When testing a program, it is not necessary to connect output devices. The LED status indicators signal if an output is active. Optional connector An optional fan-out connector allows for field wiring connections to remain fixed when removing or replacing an S7221 or 222. The appropriate connector slides into either the input, output, or expansion module terminals. Removable Terminal Strip The S7224 and S7226 do not have an optional fan-out connector. Instead, the terminal strips are removable. This allows the field wiring connections to remain fixed when removing or replacing the S7224 and S7226. Supercapacitor A supercapacitor, so named because of its ability to maintain a charge for a long period of time, protects data stored in RAM in the event of a power loss. 
The RAM memory is typically backed up on the S7 221 and 222 for 50 hours, and on the S7 224 and 226 for 190 hours.